Alrighty, what is going on folks and <clears throat> welcome back to uh, another Crawford Farms. Uh, Doughboy says, well I guess I won't go live on Spectacle. You can, it won't hurt my feelings any. Uh, simula Simulator Addict says, hey there, welcome buddy, welcome to you both. Uh, thanks for joining me tonight folks. Um, we've got a fair amount of work to do, not as much as we normally do. Um, I'm going to clean up after our animals. We need to feed the pigs. And then we got to get corn in the ground. That's pretty much the gist of what we're going to be taking care of today. Is, um, I thought about asking Doughboy to join me today, but realistically, I don't have enough work for two people, so I figured I'd leave them down in Spectacle Island, I guess. Um... Boy says, no, I won't do that. You know me. You're welcome to join me in uh, chat there, no boy. I am in Discord right now. Anyways, uh, yeah, we just have the one cedar. Thankfully, though, it's a wider cedar, so it shouldn't take us too, too long to get those seeds. Uh, <laughs> no boy says it confuses me as a viewer who watch the whole Fair enough. Um, what was I about to say? Yeah, we've got a, we got a fairly decent sized cedar. There is a lot of field to cover. So, I mean, it may take us the entire episode to, to uh, take care of it. But, um, oh, too close. up against there. Oh, where, where, where did all my... Apparently it went back into the trough. Cool. Um, let's see now. Do we need to feed these guys or give them water or anything? Now's the time to do it, I suppose. Um, I think we're doing both right now. So we'll jump over to the pigs and take care of them. So we say assist when there's not enough work for two. So I'm only to, only able to come up when I'm worked to the ground. I see. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Right, we do have to finish uh, spraying that field too. We actually forgot about that. That's just a quick, easy job. William says, what's up? Not too much, buddy. We're just getting started here. Just getting started. Oh, I never did get that much taken care of, did I? Hmm. Well, another project for another day. Maybe even this evening. Um, so, for those of you who are unaware, I did start another map there. Recently, Farm World says like spike. I like that idea. Yeah, if you guys haven't hit that like button, it surely would be appreciated. Let's get our wheels off the ground a little bit so they can put on the ground so I can steer better. Yeah, I started another map just recently, and I kind of spilled the beans during Isis Dream, I believe it was. There. Yesterday or the day before. Anyways, uh, it's Bjorn home. <coughs> the, uh, main FS-15 map, replacing all the FS-15 models with FS-17 models. Uh, anyway, got that pretty much already done. Uh, just got a handful of things left to do with it, and then we'll, we'll end up debuting it in live stream before too long. I'd like to have it ready to start testing later this week, if all goes well. Alright. Uh, pull forward here just a wee bit more. No handbrake. <laughs> uh, okay. so, oh my lord, what did those pigs do? Oh, they made a mess. I'm pressing the wrong button here. So we need barley. Got handbrake off. We 
do, 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 do. We are running low on individual crops for the piggies. For too long, we'll just be scraping by with these guys. Okay, so let's see if I remember how to run this puppy. And oh, oh, I need to get on that implement. There we go. Ooh, that's all the barley we got. Okay, well, that's worrisome. We do have some pig food, but, uh, like the uh, pre made pig food, but not enough to, um, not enough to get us through until next fall, I don't think. So I hope everybody's having a good evening. Uh, I know I am. Uh, I just actually spent much of it um, chilling out watching uh, Go Boy and Icelandic Farmer live stream We're over on uh, the Valley Old Farm. It's a real nice map. But where I was Still working on uh, my stuff, trying to get a bug figured out. I didn't join them myself. <laughs> Popping wheelies. Yeah, so a little soybean off, that's always good. Potatoes, and I think that does it for these guys. I do not, don't quote me on that though. Wait, what there should do? Let me straighten this up and so I can see what's going on. Um, there. Corn, yeah. This won't be enough to fill these guys a bit. Do, 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 do. Ethan says, hey, rubber burning. Thanks for stopping by, Ethan. Welcome, welcome. Alright. Dump this out. Hungry little fellas. Let's go get some more. Go get some more. Gotta fill these guys up with straw today as well. Looks like it's actually been a while since we've fed them that. Can break so she don't go away because we're on a bit of a slope and it tends to not go the way I don't want it to go. So I was sitting there actually last night, I couldn't help but think, we're like probably nine months away from FS19. I would suspect, knowing the giant schedule, that they will probably be releasing another one at about that point in time. I'm kind of excited by that idea. That's all of it. Okay, well, let's take a look at it. Now they're looking up. Oh, my tractor's rolling away. Okay, well, not too bad. Let's go, uh, go get some potatoes. That'll do us a few more days. Oh, oh. I think I just missed slapping that tree. Yeah, I have been on for uh, a couple days, actually, Ethan. Uh, I think two or three days. I had a pile of manure there. We could do something with one of these times too. Maybe we could take it to the compost plant or uh, maybe next year we end up actually 
Can you probably just slip underneath that belt so it can work just fine? Yep. Just a bit. Come on. There we go. Now that's more than enough, I suspect. They really don't take much in these taters. Um, yeah, I haven't been on for a few days. Like I was saying, I'm working on a new project. Um, kind of been eating up my time a little bit. Whoa, whoa! Guess we cut her a little close there. Welcome to Rubber Runner Gaming. We always forget how to talk. We press all the wrong buttons and clearly we run into things. Uh, Liam says, have you seen the new man truck mod? No, I can't say that I have. There wasn't a whole bunch left, but built them up nonetheless. Um, you can say that they're working. Um, yeah, well, that's been pretty good. The day's been pretty good. Uh, since I'm kind of better for the job right now, things are pretty relaxed in my household. Lots of farm sim and farm sim related activities. Alright. Ooh! Yawning already, that's not good. Alright, last thing to do is feed these guys with some, uh, Draw and they should be good. I think they're good on water also. Probably but we have to give them some water tomorrow, but that's yeah, okay. Been unusually warm for me the last couple days around where I'm at. Um, we've actually had a couple days of rain. Uh, rain is definitely uncommon for us this time of year. We were usually bombarded with snow about this time. And the rain actually pretty much did away with the, uh, with the snow that was, um, remaining on the ground. Uh, you can ask if I'm going to plant this tree. Yeah, I just want to take care of the animals. And then the plan is to put less of the last of the straw in the earth. Last of straw. Last of the uh, brain fart. Corn into the ground. Okay, so it kind of looks like we need to go get a couple more bales. I should probably get off this burn here first. Man, I'm running into all kinds of stuff today. Now, don't boy really keep saying over and over again, he says, I'm learning off that they're hanging out with that road burner too much lately. And uh, now I'm running into all kinds of things. But I, I've been thinking that uh, excuse is getting a little weak as of lately. Because it seems like he's been running into things. Uh, more often than I do, so I dare say I've been hanging out with Doughboy too long. And, uh, kind of starting to get me in trouble. Okay, I don't want to, there we go. I guess we're going to have to fill that guy up with some more straw bales. sold a whole bunch of straw to the Cletus brothers. Not sure exactly who all it went to, but I'm not gonna lie. I did the math and I was supposed to have enough to do me for the year, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> Don't believe says, nope, you rubbed off on you. 
Um, I guess the only plus side is we do have a early crop of barley coming in. So that should help us out at least. She's grabbing. That's the main thing. And I'm gonna drop it down, reset now that we've oh dear, I dropped there. I get in trouble. Now well, let's try to stick it in this thing and see what happens. That's what she said. Actually, six barrels. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm excited to get the last of the corn into the ground. Um, that'll be a relief to have all the crops planted. Uh, for the spring rush. Oh, and to your um, comment earlier, Doughboy, about only being able to come up when there's loads of work for you to do, you really don't have to worry because I have loads of work for us to do um, starting early uh, summer. We're going to be getting into uh, Getting into uh, taking care of some mowing. Um, I'm thinking we might actually pick up some new equipment for that. See what happens. But once we're done with the mowing and whatnot, then we need to jump over to uh, come. Midsummer, we'll have that barley crop coming in and a canola crop coming in, I believe. Go figure, that one would sit right on top of the other bale. We might just get all six bales in there. We're done with this for quite a few days. This one will have to load these up. That would be advantageous. six bales in there. Yeehaw! Me likey likey. So anyways, yeah, I was saying earlier that it's uh, been really warm outside. I'm cooking. We are like, what, barely, not even 20 minutes into the street. I am cooking right now, folks. Maybe I should have put the air conditioner back in for tonight's stream. <laughs> Kidding, of course. I would regret that in like two days, I'm sure. Alright, there we go. Six bales loaded into that monstrosity. Six bales, that's, uh, what, 24,000 liters? I should. No, I think about it. That should do us a while. Yeah, let's drop that off. Go hook up and unload. GTX says, "Hey, Rubber Burger, welcome, GTX. Thanks for stopping by, buddy." Uh, 
Let's go on low dust. Ooh, the Kelly old tractor's a little bit underpowered for this kind of weight. Alright, back her down. We'll put our handbrake on so she don't roll away again. And we will dump it here. Oh, look at that. Took, took walking 600 more liters. Definitely didn't have to fill all those guys right away, but hey, the job's done. One last thing we have to do for a few more days. <laughs> the third gear, she struggles coming up that hill. There's not even that big a hill, really. this girl in here and then what is next on the list next we have to uh, finish spraying that field I suppose let's just take a peek at the animals oh, yeah they're perfect a little light on corn that's gonna hurt us but it is what it is for now I suppose Oh, you know, actually, one, one of the things I want to do, we still have a good price on wool right now. So, maybe let's, uh, yeah, jump into this guy. And, you know what? Let's uh, take a look at our prices. See if it's going up or down. So, it's holding steady right now. Um, so, let's actually, whoopsie daisy. Let's, um, I was going to go sell what remaining wool we have, but instead I'm kind of thinking we'll just hold on to it for a few more hours, and maybe if we're lucky price goes up, or if nothing else, we will, um, great demand for oak. Well, I don't have any oak, so, sorry about my luck, I guess. Um, yeah, so maybe the price will go up, or if nothing else, we will, um, uh, we will at least have some more wool created. I'm um, sorry, I had a bit of a brain fart there. Got myself a drink, get with the cooler. So yeah, I'm skipping one row here, uh, as you guys can see. That's because I already did that row um, before when the field was plowed, but the tractor was just bouncing all over the place, so I figured, ah, I might as well cultivate it first anyways. You know what I forgot, though? However, I should have uh, finished um, spraying this field. Because the cedar that we're going to be use, using, oh, I am having a hard time talking today, folks. Oops, easy. Um, I don't think, I can't quite remember because it's been a while since we've been hooked up to it, but I don't think that it holds the dry fertilizer. So we might be out of luck there, and we may have to spray again. You know what, that doesn't matter. Well, I don't know if it matters. We can spray right afterwards or not. We'll just have to test and find out. Liquid fertilizer, thankfully, is not something that uh, we lack. So I can spray a little bit and do a test some point in time. That's another something we're going to have to do at some point in time to the uh, uh, game day we'll sell a sell a load of compost and a load of fertilizer Robert Boggins says oh he doesn't say what's up to me he says at GTX what's up I see how it is I see how it is welcome to the live stream buddy Really 
guess we're kind of a mess right now. I've been meaning to clean it up for a few days now. I mean, don't worry. I actually had this discussion there last night or the night before how um, you get everything set up just the way you want it, and then it doesn't take long for them to get cluttered. <laughs> Robert Foggin says that rubber and gaming, he is the king of modding. I won't argue that whatsoever. I actually have a mod that's going to be introduced before too long that Mr. GTX himself tweaked for me. Um, gave me a hand with a few things. Yes, actually, I do need gas. I actually didn't realize that. But yeah, he tweaked it and really helped me out with a couple of items on it. It was really bugging me. Now we'll bring this in just till we get down here. Yeah, maybe we ought to fill this thing back up with fuel once we get to the top of the hill. <laughs> there you go, I gave you a light. Thank you very much, sir. All right. I kind of cut that a little bit short on that though, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Now oh, let's pull up the gas pumps here. Should still have some left in the tanks. Put a whole lot extra in there. Yeah, that's enough to do with us for about three or four years, probably. Fuel will go bad before uh, we need to fill it up again. <laughs> oh, well, uh, where am I going to park this thing? I won't answer that. <laughs> yeah, probably best you don't. <laughs> Buddy, didn't see you pop in there. The same old, same old man. Alright. Pop this fertilizer spray down. Just found out my daughter made regionals. Ooh, what's she uh what's she in? Uh band drummer. Oh, okay, cool. She had districts today, and I couldn't go because we couldn't afford the admission fee. Oh, yeah. Because of, of me being laid off, and I felt, like, really horrible because she's senior. Yeah. And I literally, that was part of my downing attitude. I tried not to let it portray into the streams, but I know yeah. it did. Yeah. Well, that was part of it. And uh, she just called me and told me that she made regionals. I'm like, well, that makes me feel better because then, yes, I miss districts, but I can still make regionals. Yeah, yeah. Well, tell her I said congratulations. Will do. She's got one more to go before she beats out her old man. <laughs> she makes it to states, then she's tied with me. I'm really rooting for her then. <laughs> you would be. <laughs> GTX is the man. Yep, I'm, I'm with you on that one. He has saved my rear end again. He fixed what? my my issue from the controller. He actually went in and made it so it shows up in the in-game. Oh, nice, cool. So that way I can map it. Um, yeah, I'm thinking we're going to be getting rid of your uh, John Deere here soon. 
Um, and I wasn't ready to say anything quite yet, but I have a... Ooh, this does take fertilizer. Good. Um, now, how I, can you get rid of a tractor you don't own the title for? I brought it up there for me to use when I'm there. Yeah, well, I don't like charity, but I know you've been begging for bigger equipment, and I have a line on a new, new tractor, a new used tractor, that... Uh, It'll really help us out. So you won't take charity, but yet you'll sell my tractor that I own I'm to gonna, give you money. I'm, I'm going to send <laughs> it back to your farm. Calm down. <laughs> All right. Now, we get lined up for some fertilizer as well. Who's in tight quarters, folks? This may have been a bad idea. I probably should have pulled the seed or fertilizer bags out. Yeah, that whole middle post thing makes it difficult. Yeah, and you know what? I'll be honest with you. When I was making them out, I wanted to remove them, but it was if I removed those, I removed all the wood from the inside. Oh, uh, yeah. It wasn't a matter of I can. Uh, pick which ones that I want to remove, right? One solid piece, so. Yeah. And I like the looks of the inside of the barn too much, so I just. Oh, I do it. too. Uh, it's like an UMRV, the red barns. I love the look of the barn, and I like the fact you can open the top, the top of the bank barn, but it's kind of useless, because it's that small and that narrow. Really, the only thing you're getting it's, in with is a skid loader. It's actually the same barn. Well, um, then there you go. It's like yeah. I said, all you're really getting in with is the skid loader. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can get tractors in there, but it's hard. The little tractors. Yeah. Uh, Kyle Smithson says, congrats, Doughboy. Robert Foggin says, you must be proud of your Doughboy. Oh, very proud. This kid shows me up all the time. Close cover. Uh, Liam says he got states last year. Nice. Nice, Liam. That's what she's shooting for now. Okay, so I need to... Go. Uh, move that over a little bit. Crank the RPMs. Right around there. Let's try that. This is the first time we've used this piece of equipment on this tractor, so you'll have to give me a little bit of time to figure out my gears and all that jazz to figure out exactly where I need to be. Actually, expecting this tractor to pull this a little bit better than it is. Get it up to speed, but it's not doing it easily. Movie Guy Gaming says hello, everyone. Welcome, buddy. Yeah, so I kind of rained on your spectacle, eh? No, a little bit. That's all right. <laughs> Only because I hadn't heard from you, so I had no clue who was doing what or anything, so. Well, I had, uh, I wasn't sure earlier if I was going to live stream tonight or not, but I'm kind of stuck right now on the map um, until I get a hand from somebody. So, I figured why not, I got nothing else to do. Right. Um, and then I, I was getting set up for the live stream and because uh, I, I stepped away for a little while and went downstairs made some supper um, and I came up and I uh, started setting up for the live stream and I was watching Isis stream and I'm just about done setting up and then I hear you say uh, yeah, I might be doing spectacle later, and I'm like, uh, I know he won't do it if I'm doing it. <laughs> well, I 
need to charge the headsets on the charger anyway, so I'm, att I'm attached by a cable and my my uh, head tracking went dead on me, so it's charging. <laughs> I've got a couple things I can do to set things up for videos and stuff like that, so I can. It's not like the time away is hurting me. Yeah. I wasn't planning. I mean, I was planning on, but wasn't planning on jumping in the PCSG live stream today because I knew it went goes for as long as it does. But yeah, I didn't hear anything, so I didn't know anybody was doing it. And everybody was asking. It's funny how you put a poll out or you ask people's opinions, and you get like a small handful. Like yesterday, yeah. for instance, the live stream, I asked who wanted to see what today because yeah. I've got a couple to choose from. And everybody's like, Bed you now I had three Bedfords, and that was it. Yeah. Nobody yeah. else responded. As I'm in Bedford, I have like 50 people wanting to see Spectacle. <laughs> yeah. Well, you had the opportunity to vote. Yeah. And I just thought people were tired of Spectacle because we kind of overplayed it last, last, last weekend. Last time you ran it, yeah. I kind of figured I'd give it a little bit of a break anyway. Why is there two different shades? Did you run out of spray or something? No, remember I started to fertilize this when it was a plowed texture? Okay. But my cedar was bouncing all over the place and the tractor was just bouncing all over the place. So at that point I said, you know what, I'm going to cultivate this first because I can put my last layer of fertilizer in right now while I'm seeding. Um, so I just jumped back over to where I hadn't sprayed yet. And I just uh, okay. did that one row. She just doesn't like, I need a gear in between third and fourth. Yeah. Oh, you know those uh, uh, the challengers? How they have a, a different gearbox, like one through sixteen. Okay. Um, and when we were first setting you up with gearbox mod, I said that I didn't have it figured out yet how to run those with our controllers. Anyways, this tractor that I'm going to be bringing in eventually um, has a gearbox like that in real life, so I wanted to duplicate it and figure it out point to this is I finally figured out how to set it up for our controllers. Nice. Well, looks like you'll be explaining that to me tonight. It's actually really easy. It's just that gearbox menu. you got to get the correct combination in there. Yeah, well, that's the thing, that gearbox menu, you got to understand it, too, and that gearbox menu is a little confusing. I, I don't understand it at all. I just tried 50 different things until something finally worked for me, and I, I was, was like, oh, cool. I was being nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I did enough mod bashing today in my stream, I just figured I didn't need to do any more. Because I do like the gearbox mod. Oh, I love the gearbox mod. I, I'll, I don't... When FS19 comes out, I'm going to be like a lost puppy until Gearbox Mod comes out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be a lost puppy till a lot of things come out. Well, you know, <laughs> it's, you know me. It's, it's funny because when FS17 came out, everybody said, including myself, I mean, I remember uh, Grizzly Bear Sims saying it a lot. Um, I don't know if I'm going to switch over right away because... Uh, you know, there's just so many mods that I'm gonna miss, but everybody switched instantly, and it just I think the hype kind of gets to you, and you want to play it, right? Yeah. But I was saying earlier, you know, we're only like nine months away from FS19 coming out. Yeah, we're not that far. Well, it'll be mid to late October, I think.
Yeah, I think we're gonna have to buy some more seed before we're all finished putting the crowd or the corn in, folks. We're just not gonna have enough. It is. <coughs> I was kind of expecting some of our crops to come up there overnight, but they didn't, which is disappointing. I'm not quite sure when the next growth stage is. Some uh, more seed before we finish this field. Well, you're on your own. I can't bring it to you. Yeah, I know. Somebody doesn't get me a plane ticket when there's only a little bit of work to do. <laughs> only when there's so much work to do, we have to work clear till midnight. In all fairness, we'd have probably been an hour or so quicker. If I didn't plant three rows of the wrong crop, I get it, I get it, I get it. <laughs> Speaking of which, that might be why I'm short on seed. I calculated out almost the exact amount. <laughs> now, when in all reality, we're going to be short because I ended up buying a couple of fields that I didn't intend on having at the beginning of this year. They were kind of last minute decisions. What the heck is that stuff on top of your button boxes? This? <laughs> You're going to have to wait for me to point out what I'm talking about now. But <laughs> Yeah, I'm waiting. <laughs> Yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> um, that's actually a piece of paper um, with layout for what's where. Oh. Kind of. No, it's too dark for me to show you. Anyways, I mean, most of the buttons I have memorized, but there are some that I very rarely use. Something like straw swath, right? Turning yeah. the straw swath on and off. So I just leave it there. Got some rain in the forecast, folks. I like that layout. The layout, what do you mean? The way you have your button boxes and whatnot. Oh. Yeah, it took a long took a long time and some trial and error to figure out exactly how I wanted it. Uh, Kason says hi, welcome. Hope the last Hello. Thing. Welcome to the yeah. channel. I'm not sure if I've seen you in here before, buddy. Yeah, I think I need to change some of my around. The only thing I find is my hand throttle, like if I'm working on G in GE or something. I end up, I just, they're all velc, like, these three items are all velcroed down, so the hand throttle, I have to move it out of the way, otherwise I'm reaching back for my mouse all the time, and it actually, um, puts pressure on my elbow, and I'll get a pain through my entire arm for the next day if I do I'll two see. or three hours in GE that way. My mouse is on my keyboard tray right beside my keyboard, like where yours is, be in front of your joystick. Yeah. Uh, GTX, I see that you messaged me in Discord. I will check it out as soon as I am done streaming, which is going to be a little while for now, but thankfully I know you're in 
Australia time, so you will probably more than likely still be awake. And with the way my sleep schedule has been lately, I'll be awake for hours yet to come. Oh, I know. You know, but you know, I said I stayed up Thursday night so I could get a bed early last night. Yeah. I ended up running fire calls all last night. I ain't got oh. bed at three o'clock this morning. So you slept all day. So I slept till lunchtime when they woke me up, and I never got to the bank. Oh, that stinks. Yeah, they closed at lunch. I woke up at 12:15. Go figure, eh? Mm hmm. Walmart couldn't cash it. Oh, no, they cashed that one, but on the way to Walmart, I passed by, they just put a new bank in in our town, and they were over at the firehouse at our meeting on Sunday and said, anybody wants to come over and open a new account, we're giving out $50 yeah. to new account holders. And as I'm passing, I was like, you know what, why don't I open up a new account, because now I could have a separate account for my plowing business. Yeah. I wouldn't have to pay Walmart, and it was only $1.50, but I won't have to pay Walmart to cash the check. Yeah. And I have this other bank, at least on back to work, that if I get checks, I don't have to worry about my bank tanking at all. You know, I can go yeah. cash it there, and then have a little spending cash in my, in my wallet, and then put the rest of it towards, you know, the negative bank account. Yeah. Well... When I was heading to Walmart, I missed their hours by 15 minutes Friday. Yeah. So I wanted to wake up yesterday morning and do it, or this morning and do it anyway. I did go to Walmart, get that check cash, but I have another one that came in for paying me for plowing I was going to do today. Yeah. So I got to do that next they week. Open tomorrow? No. No, Sundays are closed, so Monday. Um, GTX says, no rush, you have 10 hours of live stream left. <laughs> uh, game time, folks, not real time. Um, Casey says, are you talking to me? I wasn't saying something to you. I think essentially it was I and welcome and don't think I've seen you here before. Uh, I, I apologize if I'm reading your name incorrectly, though. Look at that, folks. He's driving through the field that I seeded. I'm just kind of lightly grazing it. Uh, well, you're, lucky it's not, you're lucky it's not popped up through yet. Yeah, well, I'd be being a whole lot more careful if it had. Um, <laughs> I get you. DW says howdy, howdy. Welcome, DW. Thanks for stopping by. Haven't seen you in a couple days. Good to see you once again. See, you finally fixed your Discord. I did, yes. Uh, actually, DW pointed out, and I, I noticed it yesterday, but I ended up just forgetting about it, to be honest with you. Uh, and then he messaged me before I woke up today, and, and that was, I think, the first thing I took care of today. <laughs> coming down. That's good for the crops. Not so good for you because you could get stuck. Yeah. I don't think that they actually... I, and I wish that somebody would have, um, especially with like ground response mod or something like that, made it, actually made it more slippery in the fields. Yeah. Because you know the, the saying, right? You plant corn when the dust will fly. Oh, yeah? That's when you have your best, that's when you have your best corn prop, crop. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you're if you got a lot of dust flying off the back of your cedar when you're planting corn, you're gonna have a good harvest. Yeah. You want the rain to come after it's in the ground, obviously, but that's. Yeah. You know you've prepped your field right when the dust is flying. Yeah. And we don't plant when it's raining. We don't plant because you end up. It's too hard, not that you can't do it, but it's too hard to get proper depth out of cedars. Yeah, yeah. Like, I know we rushed on the one field, and I was out adjusting the cedar just about every day, every uh, every other row. row yeah. Because what, what a, the adjustment that was giving me about three quarters of an inch to an inch in the ground after the rain started, I was getting two inches, and you don't yeah. want beans going two inches into the ground. Yeah. Uh, DW is a story I've been around. No worries, buddy. I get it. Life comes first sometimes. It's, uh, we all get that. I 
shouldn't say sometimes. Real life needs to come first all the time. Right. I think we might be uh, running to go refill this thing into this without letting it We'll have to keep an eye on the counter. <laughs> yeah, one nice thing we're trying to do for us is semi clean some of our equipment. It's going to be in use all spring long. Some more seed, not gonna be a whole lot more. I don't, I really don't even think it'll be enough to finish this field, but. Oh, another piece of news for you guys. I don't think I mentioned it during my stream yet. Uh, I got my map back, uh, this map here from Giants. Again, yesterday, um, through round two of testing, I had one issue. I had clip distances set too high on my road, so. Made that adjustment and sent it back to him again today. Keep the X and P right back, no worries, buddy. Try to avoid the chickens getting back to the field. Move it back up. Turn the GPS back on. Actually, have more than half the field done, so we may actually get it all. Of, uh, we'll definitely get it out of that pallet, I think. Uh, may even get it out of what we have in the tanks right now, which would be nice. Oh, man. How'd you change your font color on your overlay? Uh, what overlay? overlay that gives you subscribers and all that stuff. Isn't that an OBS? Uh, no, that's an oh, you don't way. use OBS. Yeah, that's right. I, I don't have that option. I do have OBS, though, Doughboy, so I will take a look. No, I'm looking yeah. at it right now. You can't. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. Yeah, 
uh, Jason says hello. Welcome, Jason. Thanks for stopping in. Welcome to the live stream. We are getting the last of the corn into the ground. Actually, this is the beginning and the last. Um, so we have field 17 to uh, plant today. And then we've got whopping field 25. That's a, that's a big one for us. Uh, I think that's our second biggest field. Uh, next to field 35. So that's, uh, we're going we're gonna to end up spending some time on that one, but it'll be well worth it. But she's all said and done. It's going to be a big field to harvest, uh, especially with the smaller three meter corn header. The plus side is we really have a, I think we're going to have a good mix of when the crops finally come popping up through. But we're not going to be super rushed this fall, I don't think. There'll be lots of work to do because, again, as soon as you get done harvesting, we want to start prepping the fields for planting next year. Because, yes, I have full intentions of going three years on this back. I don't know why I turned that off. But I haven't turned it off any row so far. As DW hasn't been yelling at me for driving into the planted field. Probably that, didn't realize that I just spent all that time planting it. That's why I don't turn the cedar off every road, because I forget to turn it back on. Um, yeah, just watch the symbols there, Jason. He, uh, Nate bought tends to dislike more than I think three or four symbols. Just kind of clogs up chat a little bit. Just a couple little uphill second sections there that the old girl doesn't like too much. I don't like having her under 1800 RPM. She tends to lose all her speed down there. Plus side, we're going a little bit slower in one direction, but since we're going downhill, we're going a little bit faster in the other direction, so. What we, what we lose, we gain. So once again, uh, I see we got a decent number of people in here, so I just want to say I hope everybody's having a uh, good evening this evening. Um, also, while we're at it, I think we got a large chunk of people in here. 
Probably get ourselves a little light spike, folks. I was just going to say, smash that like button. Ooh, you guys haven't hit that like button. Sure, we would be appreciated. We're going to try to continue to get all this corn in the ground. Start the potential for making some decent money. Genetic J says rubber burner. Welcome, buddy. Thanks for stopping in. Welcome to the live stream. W says sorry, I had to go for a minute. No worries, buddy. That was another one of them steep sections. We're gonna have to back her down a little bit. That's probably why DW wasn't yelling at me. He wasn't here. Nah, it could be too. So what are you working on? Nothing. Just chilling at the moment. Okay. The bait, what I want to do. Oh, uh, the one map. I don't think there's not a whole heck of a lot. I, oh, there's a couple things I can do yet, but not a whole lot before the next stream. Yeah. Or before the next video, episode? I started yeah. making, I actually started two episodes last night, because okay. I wanted it to start to finish out the game day, so I have them in the queue, um, yeah. I need to add two of them, it's not enough for a whole episode, but I got that ready to rock and roll, um, I could work on the other map, I guess, the one that I haven't started yet in the series, mm -hmm. not far along, but... Like I said, I'm giving head tracking time to charge, and my daughter came down and right. said that they were starting on supper, so I know about the time I get into a game, they're going to say it's done. <laughs> yeah, And I've just been chilling and watching you. Okay. But I kind of got, uh, as much as I want to play, I've been kind of neglecting the family time this past week, because about the time I'm downstairs on the computer, they're home, and... Yeah. The timing hasn't been the very greatest. Yeah. What's for supper this evening? I don't know what they're making. What did I have? I had some sausages. Nothing exciting. It's what I had yesterday. I had a, I made sausages and mac and cheese because wife put in overtime at work. Yeah. She called and said, I got an opportunity for overtime, but I'm not going to be home until late. I yeah. said, well... Here's my opinion on it. If you can stay awake and do it, do it. Because I'm not working, we can use it. Yeah. She did it. She had, uh, she's in charge of the body shop at the local Freightliner dealership. Yeah, yeah. She does all the parts ordering. Um, uh, what estimates and all that stuff. Yep. Basically oversees the parts to part parts side of the body shop. Okay. Well, apparently the actual parts people over at the parts section of the mm -hmm. main shop, they had needed somebody to cover it. Oh, okay. And that's where she was before she got promoted to run the body shop. So they called her and said, "Hey, could you would you want some overtime?" Yeah. Yeah. We need some coverage. So it was me and the little one yesterday, so I made mac and cheese and some fresh pork sausages. I think I might have a midnight snack later after the live stream, some fried chicken. Nice. Mm. Haven't had good fried chicken in a while. I actually found this stuff there the other, uh, probably been a couple months now. They sell it in a bucket in the store. We just put it in the, uh, I just put it in the uh, stove or whatever, cook it for 25, you know, 35 minutes, I think. And man, it's delicious. For it's a, look for that. It's a little bit spicy, and oh, it's great. Because I want good fried chicken, I always got to go out to the restaurant to get it, and then I look yeah. at the menu, and then I'm looking, and I'm interested in something else. Well, that's just it. Like, your average, um, um, the average grocery store doesn't really sell a, a good 
I, I've never been able to find a good fried chicken like where the skin peels off and you can just munch on that. You know what I mean? It's just almost like yeah. KFC fried. You know, it's yeah, right. good. Definitely not healthy, but delicious nonetheless. Yeah, KFC original recipe chicken. I'm sorry, but I just I have to get it. It's definitely not healthy for you, but man, I got to get it every once in a while. Oh, I love me some KFC. Especially, the, uh, you get their chicken, you get a side of fries with some gravy. Oof. Yeah. I love their gravy. Actually, my mother, every time I'm home uh, for vacation, she always goes and buys a small little bucket of uh, gravy because she always ends up making a, a big meal of some sort. And she knows I don't like her gravy because she puts onions in it. Um, so anyways, um, she buys that for me. Oh, it's great. It's all, all for me. Well, I think I can do this a little bit until they tell me it's done. I think I'm going to... P.W. says he's got some pizza left over to eat. Well, that's not too bad either. Depending on what kind of pizza it is. I've never found a good store-bought pizza that I like that. Alright. So, that's one field done. Field done, one to go. So we're going to take this back to the main farm. I'll oh, shut my GPS off, that's what it's going for. Take this back to the main farm, put what leftover seeds we have left into the seeder. And I'm going to bring up course play. I don't have course play enabled. So I don't, I can't calculate how much seed I need. That's kind of a downer. And then we'll just end up buying a couple pallets, and if we have some left over, we have some left over. Yes. start with that and actually we might as well get some uh, oops, fertilizer while we're here. Fill that up. Cover. Yeah, we'll start with that, see how far that gets us and when we need to refill, we'll refill. We'll buy a couple more pellets. <laughs> w says, am I the only one who drinks KFC gravy from the tub? No, I, I, I could do that. Yeah. I probably have done that. <laughs> <laughs> Hence why I'm overweight these days. You overweight? Have you looked at my face cam lately? <laughs> There's a reason I don't run a face cam. <laughs> All right. Now, shut this down here for a second. I don't know why we shut it off, but... Need to set up our GPS. GTX says, I have returned.
kind of hard not to. On these uneven fields. Um, GPS is locked. See who's on. Uh, third gear, probably more like second. This field's definitely not going to be as quick as the other one because it's a little less level. Let's see what happens. Yeah, she needs to climb up like that 21, 20 RPM before I can give it the next year. Once I hand throttle it, that does help, I suppose. We may just hand throttle this entire thing, or foot throttle, rather. It is definitely going to be quicker. And as much as I like uh, planting, planting one crop, or planting crops, I heard, uh, planting one crop in one field for a couple hours is going to be a bit monotonous. So this might speed things up a bit. He says, I've been known to buy one of those big tubs and put it in my cup and go down the road drinking a pool. That might not be the best thing to do. Understand why you want to. Uh, I feel like your doctor might say that's not a good idea. tilt at this girl. Well, my daughter just told me supper's ready, so I'm gonna finish up what I'm doing here and go get supper. You're leaving me? No! <laughs> yeah. chat with right now reminded me of something that I really needed to do I was tired of my joystick and my hand throttle running all over my desk when I go for it it reminded me that I wanted to velcro these down so I'm velcroing them down before I forget to do it again. And I'm hoping that I pretty soon get back to work and get some money because I really want to pick up that couple more side panels. Well, DW says he did a lot in the summer. <laughs> So which is that panel right in front of your joystick? That's the oval. Or well, the, this, the one right in front of the joystick. Well, with the toggle switches and the... With the toggle uh, switches is the track box. Okay. Now, and that mine, one doesn't work. That's yes, the one. It works show, with sh show the one on camera that does not work with FarmSim. Uh, Do you have it that you can hold it in front of the camera? That guy over there. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Anyways, I'm going to that now. Um, well, that's all messed up. I, uh, got my camera on a boom stand now, which really helps. Anyways. It. Did you show it? No. Nope. Yeah. There I, it comes. Yeah. Anyways, um. Oh, okay. I actually did a review on that one when I first got it. 
It's there somewhere if you want to watch it. But yeah, the track boss, I have one that's completely blacked out. And it was one of those buy it now. Right, right. Um, ones that it's kind of limited availability. Yeah. Um, so you can either try to wait for one that comes out or just get the regular track boss. Yeah, you said I see your face a <laughs> bit. Yeah, you probably saw my bad haircut then too, eh? Once again, I gotta get into uh, across town there sometime this week to get a few things done. I may just get a haircut at that point in time. <laughs> GTX says with all the food talk already. <laughs> Chicken, knife, uh, plate and fork emojis. <laughs> I don't know how much it's supposed to rain today, but she just keeps coming down. store. I think what we'll do is we'll just run the pickup truck down there. We won't end up hooking up to the trailer. Um, and look what you made me do. I'm sorry. That's better. Anyways, um, yeah, we'll just run the pickup truck down there. We can get two pallets on it. I'm going to hope that that'll be enough, but we'll leave the tracker down there, that uh, 644, just in case it isn't. I believe we can just run the truck back if it isn't. button. <laughs> TW says, no, I only see uh, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo's beard. <laughs> yeah, if you want a face cam reveal of Rubber Bernie, you got to watch the building of his man cave video. Which part two is, I swear it's coming one of these days, that's another thing. Yeah, i got to get it done this week. i got to get this room finished and tidied up. And that will be on... Yeah, I wanted to do that this weekend and I didn't get to that either. I'm sure I'll probably do another face reveal at that point in time. We can get to the end of this row and we'll turn it around and we'll just call it there. over to 644, this girl right here. Lose that. We got the bail spikes on right now. We're gonna have to switch those out for um, 
pallet forks. Don't think we'll need a weight for seed pallets. No, definitely though, it's that heavy. Get wet on this drive though, the old open cab. Thankfully, at least it's 18 degrees outside. I have to come by and clean up after our piggies one of these times too. Well, guys, I think this is where I say see ya. I'm gonna go eat some supper and hang out with family, let my headset record, recharge a little bit. I'll be on later, rubber burner, so I'll look for you. Okie dokie. Shoot you a message when I come back. If you're still streaming, I'll jump back in. If not, I will chat with you. Either way. Sounds good, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. See you, chatters. Like Spike before I go. If you haven't already hit that button, make sure you do so for my friend. Yeah. See ya. Later. Uh, I think says, as another faithful funny, but you know that what will be better county line. Yeah, we hear ya. We have plans. Well, that's all I can say at this point in time. All I'm willing to reveal. Come on, girl. Chug a lot of lego. Chug a lot of lego. You know, so part of the idea when we sold the skid steer bring this tractor down because it would be quicker to run this down than the be um, skid steer, obviously. Um, but I'm still not sure if it actually saves us any time over, because we never actually did bring the skid steer down. We always just ended up bringing the uh, 7710 down. So I'm not actually sure if this is any quicker or not, but Take some of the hours off the 7710 at least, and that tractor has got plenty of those. Okay, so. Pallets. Bye. Yes. Bye. Yes. Alright. Jump in our pick, pick em up truck. Oh, yeah, we actually still got a couple logs here that never ended up selling, so we'll. Run those down into the water also. So I'm off. Well that crop's definitely up. Get close to the end there. I'm thinking it's gonna be midsummer when we get to see that. And uh, harvest it, I'm quite sure. Come on, go. You're up to speed. Alright. Maybe we'll drive like a sensible person today in the pickup. Ha! Not funny. Shabby. And maybe we should do some more logging. Yeah, we'll see. Whoopsie Daisy, he didn't want to open the hood. No. I wanted to. There we go. 
Open the back up. Alright. We'll hop back in the 644 again. <laughs> I hate how said, I'm going to save myself from the 10 hour stream delay. I uh, hide in Discord. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> Welcome to chit chat with me. Maybe it's probably a little late for you now, but just saying. Alright, well, let's get this up there. Let's zoom in a bit. That worked out quite well right there. Still in reverse. Might attack the building there. Uh, says it's 126 in the morning here. That's going to be a no on that one, RV. Sorry. No worries, brother. No worries. all the way for it to move from forward to reverse. Sometimes it can be a bit on the annoying side. Probably should have put the forks down. Kind of a lawsuit without doing that. But a lawsuit waiting to happen rather. What's life without a little danger? Living on the edge. Whoa. Can't find them, grind them. I like to say, wee, wee. Yes, that's what I was forgetting. Close the cover. All right, we're rolling once again, folks. We'll get this entire crop in today. I'd like to think so, but might just have to leave the second half of the field for another day, depending on how far we end up getting. <coughs> Again, at some point in time, we do have to sell. Want to sell some wool and sell some. Really, if we get the edge of this field, we should take a look at that wool, make sure the price of it starts dropping drastically or something. Yeah, we'll need to sell some wool, sell some compost, and uh, a load of 
Strictly fertilizer as well. Nice right? possum down under. Hi guys, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Everybody <laughs> says, don't want to blow my own horn, but I'm doing a pretty good job stacking logs here. May not want to, but you definitely are. <laughs> stop here real quick uh, actually price is going down so let's sell that off quick it's actually down almost a hundred bucks so we probably would have been better off to sell it while it was at the nine thousand dollar mark but like I said living life on the edge I guess says isn't living life on the edge a song um living on the edge that's a aerosmith song maybe living life on the edge is a song also but it's the only one i can think of so this should gain us uh oh probably 12 or 13 thousand dollars for this new power this will probably be the last bit of wool that we get to sell until uh, next spring, I suspect, because uh, starting towards the end of late spring and into summer, the price really starts to fall off on the wool. Uh oh, the wool pellet starting to wig out on my forks. Get her going quick before something bad happens. My wife just decided to completely change directions all on its own. Oh, almost, oopsie daisy, you stole it out, folks. Uh, almost $12,000 in wool. Not too shabby. Uh, I think on the edge by Aerosmith. Yes, you are right. Living on the edge. Living on the edge. All right, I'll shut up now. Ah, Bon Jovi. Living on a prayer. I believe, if I remember correctly. Um... No, oh, let's just park it under the park it under the shed, I guess. <laughs> TW says, no city RV, please. Uh, you get music into my head, you know that's a possibility, DW. Okay. Let's get back to work, shall we actually? Let's just take a couple look sees at some other stuff. 
One post is actually on its way down, but. Uh, what about liquid fur? It's actually at a bad price, so we'll wait on both of those. We can get better prices than that. Let's turn this back on. Relock our GPS, and off we go. Another gear. I'm gonna say my ears are bad as they are now. Don't need you saying all. Well. And uh, make pause and says, yep, I bought a new PC, had to make transfer all the stuff from the old tower to the new one, but when I got it home it didn't power up, so I changed the plugs around over a half an hour of time. Did you get it going at least? I hope you were able to get it going. I built my own PC too, but I actually, not gonna lie, I had somebody give me a hand with wiring also, because um, everything else is easy peasy, but wiring, you really gotta make sure it's done right. Um, last thing you wanna do is buy something. I actually almost buy my graphics card. I put it in. I used the wrong plug, I used an 8 plug, which is a 6 plus 2 plug, I guess. Why they would do that, I don't know. Okay completely compatible with each other. What am I doing? Wrong gear, wrong everything. Um, thankfully, the uh, graphics card has a protection something on it, so that nothing went horribly wrong. Uh, Night Boston says now it's money, and I also put in one tear, but I drive in it last night. Nice. Right on, right on, right on. It's funny, actually, um, the old boy was asking me something about uh, a map later yesterday, and uh, I uh, still had the version of the map that I edited for him. And it was actually a question that GTX had asked him because the old boy was having an issue that I didn't know the answer to. Anyways, thankfully I had just installed a new hard drive also. And I told him, I said, well, you can thank my brother for giving me a free hard drive because otherwise your, uh, your map was on its way out the door. Um, and awesome. so this was the first time I messed up, messed with power plugs and such, so I think I did okay right on. Still drooling over GTX's setup though. He boasted that he's got two Titan X's in his computer. This rain definitely doesn't want to go anywhere. It doesn't usually stick around this long. I think it started at like 10 o'clock in the morning, something like that. So we've been raining now for four and a half hours. Funny, we hardly got a lick of rain in the springtime or early and mid spring. In fact, we got snow. Now all of a sudden, she's just pouring on us. A clear day warm and the beginning of summer is all rain also. Thankfully, midsummer looks clear, and that's when our first harvest is. It's going to start, I think. Uh, Night Possum says, how's the map coming along? I haven't seen a download link for it yet. Uh, actually, yesterday, I got it back from Giants through their second round of testing. I had one clip distance that needed to be changed. Um, so I sent it back to them again today, and we're going to go for... 
Uh, is it round three of testing now? Yeah, I think this is going to be the third round of testing. So they have multiple different phases, right? So, and where this is my first map that I've ever sent ever sent in. Uh, I was clearly expecting some issues and nothing major. They've all been. They sent it back to me. I had everything fixed the first time in an hour, and this time within five minutes. So hopefully before too long, you know, it was a week in between uh, when it went for phase, first phase of testing, and I got response from the second phase of testing. So we'll uh, hope that it comes back to me within another week or so. That's all we can do. That is, you know, if they have any more changes. Hey, you know, maybe it just goes online after that. See what happens. <laughs> awesome. It says I will have it as it is. Giants are too picky. Well, I mean, yes and no. I can get why they're being picky, but really, um, looking at performance issues. For the most part, because um, of course they set out that the game runs with certain specifications, and so they don't really want to have the maps um, have the maps. Uh, what's the term I'm looking for? Be overdrawn. I guess. Uh, GTX says it's good to be picky. Lots of bad mods on the other side. So that's a very valid point, too. Yeah. There is a lot of very horrible mods that are out there that will just crash your game. Um, or worse, crash your computer. Uh, so we're being thorough in an effort to you know, protect you guys. Sometimes I do wonder if they're a little bit, if it's a bit much, but, you know, they got standards, and that's, that's fine. They've got to meet those standards, and we'll learn from this one, and then hopefully the next one I release will be a little bit smoother. Which, um, the next one that I am working on, started working on it a little while ago. Actually, it was only a few days ago. And with any luck at all, uh, we're going to start testing it next uh, next uh, next week sometime. Uh, Cinematics, have you got to do major changes or is it small issues? Uh, first time around was I had some images that the MIP maps weren't uh, installed on. Uh, that's because they weren't in my textures folder, so I just overlooked them. Um, there were a half a dozen of those, and they wanted me to change the description um, to their German description, because obviously they can translate it better than Google Translate. And what was the other thing? Oh, they wanted me to remove my name from the description, which kind of peed me off, because, um, you know... Uh, Bullet Bill and Oxygen David can do it, but I can't. And I called them out on it when I sent it back, but they didn't respond to that, of course. Um, and then second round was, yeah, that one item that needed different clip di distances. Um, DW says, you think you did bad with your graphics card ID? I was going to wire up spotlights on the tractor. Uh, was ignition on? The only reason why I stopped was because I was thinking, why is the radio still playing? Well, uh, GTX says it's okay. I can even I get mods sent back to me for fixes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and that seems to be the general response that I've gotten from pretty much everybody is. Um, 
it actually uh, the general response I've gotten is for this being my first go round, I've done quite well to only have the few issues that I have had, so I'm I'm really happy. Um, definitely a good learning experience, that's for sure. Oh, what do you think? Can we make another trip? Two trips? I don't know. She could be uh It'll be tight, I think, but we're gonna try it. Goodness, I am starting to think we're gonna need more seed than we than we have, though. Poor joystick bag. She's starting to get wore out. Sometimes the buttons just don't like to work on it. a quarter of the way through the field now, I'd say. If not, maybe even, maybe even a third. Farm Boss Box says, hey, welcome Farm Boss, thanks for stopping by. Welcome to the live stream. He asked, where is Doughboy? Well, uh, Doughboy isn't with us today. He actually was in chat with us earlier, but the uh, fact was I didn't have enough uh, work for him on the farm. So I told him he could have the, have the day off and fly back to his spectacle island and uh, continue working there. He's actually having supper right now. That's what he's doing. He was in chat with us earlier. Yapping, going on, giving me a hard time as usual. Didn't tell him I said that though. Alright. VW says, I'm going to get some pizza. Fair enough, buddy. Wait a minute, you said it's like, oh, it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning where you're at. It's a little late for pizza, don't you think? Not healthy, not way of time. Down to one percent. You have used it so what? It's taken two years. I'm hungry. <laughs> Perfect five says what? What up, Farmer Clyde? Welcome to the live stream. Thanks for stopping by. We are trying to get. Last of the corn. Oh, we need to uh, fill this girl up again, I think. We're going to have to get some fertilizer down here, too. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, folks. It's a big field. use in her days. Joystick's treating me really well. I've had it for, oh, probably going on two years now. I'm a little disappointed that it's dying already, but um, for the price of it, 
really can't complain. I think it's 50 or 60 bucks, something like that. <laughs> Tim Tummy says, go and get an energy drink, really cool. Yeah, I'm on the Pepsi myself. A little bit of caffeine and a whole lot of sugar. So I have to, you guys need to keep an eye on that fertilizer counter for me. Let me know if we, if I accidentally run out. I really don't want to do that. DW says I've got Locozade. Haven't heard of that stuff before. Come on, work. It's not gonna work. It's, uh, I don't think that's available where I'm at. Usually, uh, talking about this whole energy and stuff just making me sleepy. Um, usually, if I go for an energy drink, it's a monster. I like me a monster. I used to like NOS, but uh, those things were hard on the guts. Not really any energy drink is kind of hard on the guts, so it would be fair. So we were at 20%, give or take on the fertilizer. So I think we can go down and back again. Yeah, barely. W says, I go for a Red Bull if I can. Mm, Red Bull just reminds me of Jägermeister. I do like Red Bull though. Never heard of that one. That one's new to me. Just enough. Get the other end. We're missing out. This stuff is good. Man, this rain just will not let up today. That is just insanity. So once again, we'll get to the edge of the row, and then uh, we'll just turn her around, shut her off, and we'll hop in the pickup, run up the hill. Uh, 7710 should have pallet ports on it. Hopefully, we can get that behemoth into the shed and throw up a pallet with fertilizer. Yeah, let's try that. 
don't really feel like running into that tree today. Jacob Cougar says hi. Welcome, Jacob. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to the live stream. I'll shut her down here. And unlock our straps. And run over to the 77 pin. Careful here. I don't exactly want to fall in that pit. I also don't really want to take any of the posts out. Now, let's just hop out real quick and see what we've got for fill levels. 45 liters. Let's not grab that one. That's 170 liters. Goodness. Goodness, none of them are full. Okay, well. Maybe we'll take all three of them then. And we can stack them up, I suppose. Let's try a second here. And Jacob says, I got American trucks in and spin tires going. Nice, good for you, buddy. Yeah, I need to do a little spin tires. It's been a while since I've done spin tires. Up here too bad. Mm. One boss says you should get uh, a hundred calls a while and should have played your team earlier. Not me, I don't know that game. What was I playing over here? Um, DW says, yes, I do. I want to see spin tires. I know you do. I want to play spin tires. So it'll happen here one of these days. We and Don't Boy have actually been talking about that. Saying that we need to get on it. Especially now, there should be some run maps out. Good variety of them. Chewing our day away. Low 
many belts, it seems, but. Gotta be done. See, that really hoping this is enough fertilizer. What is that? It was 170 liters on the first pallet. 570 in this one, that's 670, that's 740, uh, 785 liters in total. Aside from the joystick, I'm uh, running pretty much some different equipment than me. Uh, the blocker straps. Still not sure why that one pallet's kind of floating around, but whatevs. It's there, strapped down. Woo! A little bit tippy. You're flipping this thing on her side probably wouldn't be that hard. Carl Parker says, Hey, hey, it's everybody's favorite Carl. Welcome, Carl. Thanks for stopping by. Getting ready to give our, uh, give our cedar some more fertilizer. I'm going to fill up the seed while we're at it, too. It's just full of the rim, so let's just go plant some more, shall we? Um, Jeremy says that load is not safe. No, it really isn't. Not going to argue with that one. Now, let's close the cover again. All right, getting some more crops in the ground.
Rain still hasn't let up yet, so we're looking at six hours of rain so far. <laughs> the other says real men only need to make a trip. What I think he means to say is real men only need to make one trip. <laughs> I agree. That's why I own a 2500, not some little dinky 1500. Yes, I was correct. He only meant to say one trip. Uh, Carl says we had a lot of load like that one time we were hauling a long tobacco harvester from the 40s in one sprayer trailer. And it was like they were all around 20 feet tall. Nice. 25 feet tall, sorry. So, believe it or not, it does kind of look like we're starting to make some progress here. Uh, we're getting towards the smaller edge of the field. Once we get to that corner right there, things are going to get really short and really quick. The W says at least it isn't a Chevy, it would have broke down. Chevy and GMC is pretty much the same thing with different decals. Uh, like Possum says, yeah, when you get a chance, would it be okay if I had a chat with you about a 3D Pro Shifter? Uh, go ahead and. Uh, Join our Discord is probably the best way to get a hold of it. Kyle says I'm 10 feet wide. Okay. Mm Always seems to be that last range that it doesn't like to get into. Uh, well, so the whole thing it was pretty the same roads, the Dodge Van, so it was a combo, that's cool. Yeah, all right, uh, right, awesome. Um, I can't promise I can get in touch with you right after the stream today. Um, see how things go. But uh, if not, I'll have plenty of time tomorrow. Now 
Actually, in all fairness, though, GMC, they're, they're the same truck. The GMCs were always, in my opinion, better looking, and they were always um, better equipped, too. That being said, there's a reason price tag is higher on them, obviously. Oh, I guess I didn't get that fourth range there, did I? I think it's safe to say we're going to need at least one more pound of seed. I'm disappointing, but it is what it is. Oh, I wish this rain would just bugger off already. It's getting old. The possum says, so you can't know where it's going. I just need to tell the ring to bugger off. That's all I need to do. But it's funny we actually had this happen. Actually, I think it was the last live stream I was with Doughboy. Uh, the rain um, stopped just in time for the sun to go down. And uh, won't be too long now until the, until the sun does go down. We're pushing 5 o'clock in the evening now. Uh, Ray says Carl. Are you speaking to the other Carl, or are you stating that your name is Carl? I could, I'm not sure. Using about 25% for two passes right now. I'll get the single range out of it this time, so we'll move to the main problem. What cam seems to have dropped a little bit there. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 jeez. We, we tightened up. Try that. Let's see if that looks a little better. Going down. Oh, this would knock my Pepsi over. Now that would have been catastrophic, folks. Can't do a live stream without a Pepsi in hand. Or bug laser. Either or. Yeah, a little bit of clear sky there. That's fine. It's just for no boy. No one to blame but don't believe he's the one who asked me to uh, see the other button box. It's like we might have missed a little bit of fertilizer here. I think we may have actually um, fertilized this in the dark now that I think about it. We may have not even ran GPS. That could very well be why. 
BW says I'm loving it. I don't love it to stream all the time. Not a very useful moderator there, are you, BW? Jeez, gross. I expect your full and undivided attention. <laughs> I kid. Okay, so this was a little bit less than 25% for down back. for a little while here. Not too long. I'm not quite sure what time the sun's going down right now. Late spring, that is a little bit later than normal. Or that it has been, I should say. <laughs> the only zip in our feet. Go back to Kevin Log Tracks. Touche, my friend. Touche. This is W says it would and wouldn't be funny if the can fell off. I actually did knock it off. Like the first day that I had the thing, it, 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 the whole reason I got the tripod was because there's a, a boom stand for it was because of that actually. Um, it was working fine in the location it was at. It just, yeah, I knocked it over the first day that I had it. I was like, nope, I need that solid mounted. I know myself, I'll knock it over again. Yeah, who came out when I knocked it over? I will say that. But she still works just fine. I do work on the lighting a little bit though. I bought a lamp for right over top of my button boxes. Um, because I don't really like having a big overhead light on when I'm gaming. It's just too bright in here. Um, but I'm not really loving it because it's got the dark area over by the wheel. And it's really bright over by the button boxes, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do there. So I just don't know. Well, what do you think, folks? Can we make one more pass? One more trip? It's 32 divided by 2. 15, 17. Yeah, I think you can because the others are getting shorter. So we're going to do it. We're going to hope, see, that we bear and back. Oh, run out. I'm a rebel. Oh, I'd say, I think we're safe and sane. We're two thirds of the way down the field now. Like I said earlier, things are going to get real short, real quick here soon. I did say 32 divided by 32, didn't I? I meant 32 divided by 2. Wait, did I say 32 divided by 32? Ah, that's a good possibility. 32 divided by 32 is 16, right? It is 16. Wow, my map was off there. We may just be a hair short by like a meter or two. If that's the case, we'll just not worry about it. But
think this thing is going to need another tank of fuel here before too long as well. I don't want to say the five liters, I mean it's not empty by any means, but it's starting to get to the point where the last thing you want to do is run a diesel dry, especially an older one like this. Eight liters, seven liters, six liters, five liters, four liters, three liters, two liters, one liter, and we're empty. Yep. Just shy. That's all right. Hold this car up. Getting a little bit closer. Left in the tank. Oh wow, we'll fill it right up. Cool. By George, we might actually have enough. Come on. Ugh. Alright, well, I will pull it out. Back up. This. See if that does us. Cover back up. There we go. Now we're down, getting down to the real nitty gritty. We'll find out whether or not we've got enough fertilizer, enough seed. We still have a little bit of seed left, but I'm sure I wasn't expecting to get another full tank of it, so I'm sure whatever is left is minimal at best. I have a funny feeling we may end up needing. Another bag of each. Which wouldn't be the end of the world. <laughs> w says, you, know, you think that truckload is good, just look at this for a minute, see what, see how, see what, how I load things. I knew what you were trying to get out there. I'll check it out after the live stream for sure. Thousand liters in a pallet is a good. You never know, we might just have enough in that thing. I was thinking there was only 1,000, but I'm quite sure there's two. I don't know. I know there's 2,000 liters in a liquid fertilizer tank. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Whatever happens, happens. 
But we have to go to the store for one, and then we'll end up picking up a bag of each, I'm sure. Doesn't hurt to have extra. Although, we have spent quite a bit of time. I spent quite a bit of time. I actually spent like two hours doing math, trying to figure out exactly what fields we're going to be planted with what. Um, as so that we would have enough to feed the pigs for an entire year. And like there's just enough of absolutely every single crop, except for one field that we purchased at the, at the last minute that I planted in barley. So that can make us some, uh, that can make us some um, seeds for year two or year three. So I think I fixed it. Would help if I go through all the settings. So, all right. I, think I might have my uh, front loader down there, dragging on the ground. She struggled a bit on that run. Just realized she was a little low. Exciting. We had all the crops in the ground. We have done well for ourselves, folks. W says, I think I have more on than you get on your log truck. Yes, sir. Are you talking like the trailer that I had behind that thing or the TMC? Or are you talking like back when I was in uh, Old Guy Farmer's single player challenge? Daisy. Don't need to be running the seat in reverse. That can't be good for equipment. Yeah, so anyways, year two, that's uh, I or year three rather, we should have enough seeds. But we don't have to buy any. Um, but again, if we have some left over in a pallet, that's not the end of the world. I just prefer not to waste the money if I don't have to. Uh, but dry fertilizer, we have no means of producing that. So, you know, if we gotta buy that, we gotta buy that. It's not the end of the world. Yes, says I have not tried it at the, the horse management app for the farming tablet will let's make the seeds required for each field so you know what to take with you. Yeah, um, I usually just use course play for it. Um, yeah, I usually use course play because it can calculate that as well. But where sometimes I have no play on the map. Anytime I put this into multiplayer mode, it of course unchecks course play because I still have an old version of course play uh, before it became multiplayer friendly. Um, so I should just, theoretically, I should just update course play or I can get that. Either or, really. But yeah, he was with me last time. I streamed, so I forgot to uh, forgot to check it back off so that it would run. So 
we just kind of on our own and guessing during this stream. Look at that, we're both at 50% seed and core. Or sorry, seed and fertilizer. And now the seed has surpassed it. Not surprising, seed always seems to go a little bit quicker than the fertilizer. We're getting there, folks. tractor is pretty dirty once again. Raid washed it off a little bit there earlier, but pretty much back to where she was. Whoops, trying to zoom out. That's not working for me sometimes too now. That center trigger. The joy, the joy buttons, I guess they call it. Not folks, that's what we'll do. Yeah, we're definitely running out of seed before we finish this. It's a shame because definitely won't use a full pallet bowl. Not even close. I don't mind making the trip. I mean, we can put the tractor down there. It's only going to take us a couple minutes to make the trip, but. Just more money spent than I wanted to. I don't go away, I got a new piece of equipment coming in for them, so. I need to save my penny so that we can get that for too long. Really would like to have it in our arsenal for the uh, uh, fall rush hits. We need more red on the phone. Not arguing with you there, DW. I absolutely agree. A little bit too much green on the farm right now. Let's just put it that way. Although, I, I'm not going to lie, DW. Um, this new map that I'm working on, I've got a couple pieces of equipment already lined up for it, and they're both green. Uh, I've been thinking about what my starting equipment's going to be, and Yep, both of them are green. I don't know what I'm going to use aside from those, those two pieces. No one I'm going to use for a truck. Different still, but... Mm, I think we can make another... 
another pass at least. Oh yeah, we do have a little bit of seed left over there, don't we? I was thinking we had fertilizer left. We never know, we might just make it. But we pretty much need full coverage on this field. Uh, DW says, is it, is it going to be a role play map for Hitch or a stream map? It'll be a stream map. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of role plays. Um, I've never had great success with them. Uh, one, I find a whole lot more work than uh, this type of uh, live, than live streaming. Uh, I record for two or three hours, then I'm editing for two or three hours. I really like to, if I'm doing a role play, then, you know, I want to have a good production value to it. Um, and I'm just not good at the whole role playing thing. I don't claim to be. Uh, I prefer, and the other thing is I just, I love hanging out with everybody in the stream. Um, that's what makes Farm Sim fun for me now, is the interaction that I have with everybody. So, it'll be a live stream map, I'm sure. Um, like I say, I hope to, hope to debut it next week. I do, I'm stuck on an issue right now. Once I can get over this hurdle though, then it's back to stuff that I've done a hundred times before. And I can should be able to bang it out in a day, I feel. Uh, maybe two at the most. But I'm really excited for this map. Um, like I said earlier, it's, it's your home, or the resort home, or however you want to say it. Um, that map right there, I spent hundreds of hours on it um, in FS15. It's what got me into Farm Sim. Now, eventually, I ended up finding a modded version of it with lots of industries and. Uh, so on. That's what really kept me captivated into the map because it got boring with, without, you know, extra stuff to do. And so that's that's what I'm aiming for. I'm gonna get it, you know, FS17 platinum ready type deal. So it's gonna be sugar cane ready. Uh, we'll have some multi fruit on it and then a few industries as well. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, I look forward to using it again. I've spent a couple days now replacing all the models uh, from FS15, or at least you know all the buildings and whatnot. I'm just not going as far as to, to replace you know park benches and stuff like that. But there's been a lot of a lot of little details you know you got to take care of. Moved all the animals so that they're a little bit more centrally located to the farm. I know giants won't love that if I try to send it to them, but I should have stopped there. Alright. So let's uh, tab the next vehicle. Tab over to this guy right here. Says to put these all on this course right on. Right. Really, I think we did enough fertilizer to get us. Get us through. It will really just be a matter of do we have enough 
see, I guess there is a tiny little strip up there that could be done yet too, but you know what? We'll worry about that if we've got enough left over. Or if we end up having to get a whole nother pallet. see what we get out of that. Two or three hundred liters, I think we would have made it, but not less than a hundred. I have to turn the seat on. Go with that. Close together. Oh, that's a shame, because we're going to have, like, two strips. There's absolutely nothing. Two or three. Because they get so short so quick down here. Boys, I would love to make them a little way quicker, I thought. You know what though, in all reality, I'm going to come back to this again, <laughs> just to dig it in a tilt away. He hadn't planted the wrong crop, with those three passes, burned that little bit of seed, we have had enough to finish this field. As it is now, we're going to be three passes short. Says, I do you want some logs and stuff? You mean like mods? I'm pretty picky on the mods I use for logging. Two leaders left. One, two, three passes. Wow, yeah. Alright, well, you know what? It's not the end of the world because. Get our truck. Um, but yeah, it's not the end of the world because we'll fill this cedar up and we'll put what's left over into the other cedar, and then you know what? It does some seed to start us off uh, next time. Next time we need any. Uh, DW says, no, not as much, like as, like I ship some stuff to your farm. I appreciate the thought, but I'll tell you the same thing I told Doughboy earlier. Don't want charity on this map. I'm trying to play this map with, uh, with you know, cheating. 
aside from the uh, crop insurance that I uh, claimed last year, no money has been cheated on this map. Oh dear, oh dear, yeah, yeah, that mailbox is gone. Yeah, kind of lost a little bit of control there, and uh, yeah, whoopsie. All right, so down here we'll buy one pallet of each. Uh, again, the solid fertilizer definitely doesn't hurt to have. Um, we'll use that eventually. We have no means of producing it, so. No, we go 50-50 on the money for the logs. Hmm, that's an interesting strategy. Tell you what, you get that PC, and then we could talk. I could probably lease some land out to you. You come down, you do some logging throughout the summer, and I could be in for that. Debbie says, I don't do for free, lol. <laughs> now, you're a smart businessman. Uh, Doughboy, maybe not so much. He could flat out give me a piece of equipment and leave it lying around. But to me, that just sounds like putting yourself in the poorhouse. You got it lying around, you sell it. You can give it to somebody for free. Come on, there we go. Yeah. And six four four. I'm just going to leave it here. Um, again, that'll be something. I'll I'll drive that back to the farm off the stream. Yeah, don't need to watch that entire drive. Especially when we don't need it right away. Well, there's our corn mailbox. <laughs> he w says he's a millionaire, he can do what he wants. He bought an island. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. You know, if we sold absolutely everything on our farm, I bet you we'd be close to a million dollars. Wee! Wee! And we don't have the, all the nicest equipment, but we've upgraded through a year. pull in here This here truck out of the way. And we will finish seeding for year two. Well, I say that, but technically we'll have some fall seeding we're going to be doing, but um, that's still a ways away. Yep. Cover back up. Oh, I didn't want GPS yet. Let's see ourselves over there just a little bit. Oh, 
front loader was down all the way. Still at it. Holy cow. We are on the last little bit. Okay, so I, I was giving you a hard time while you weren't here, so I'll give you a hard time once again. <laughs> now oh, that you're gosh. Here. Um, I just had to go to the store and buy one more bag of seed for three strips on a field. Okay, so you have it for later. Big deal. <laughs> but next year, we planned on producing all our own seeds. So, yeah. So you have it for later. Big deal. <laughs> um, EW says, we'll have to talk more on that. We'll make some money. Sounds good, buddy. DW's got an interesting uh, um, thought process for me. He suggested, he was interested, or curious if I wanted some logging equipment. I told him, I said, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told Doughboy. I don't really want charity on this map. And he said, well, no. I didn't give you charity. I brought my own damn tractor for me to use. That's not charity. Your own, your own what tractor? I brought my own tractor for you, <laughs> for me to use. And what about the uh, cultivator? Okay, so I gave you a Christmas gift. You can sell and do whatever you want with the cultivator. Big deal. You can't so, take its Christmas gift and wah. <laughs> so anyways, um, he suggested, well, he said, no, it's not free. He said it's, it's you make... Uh, 50% of whatever, you know, we bring in. I said, well, you're going to get yourself your PC, and then then we can talk some business, because clearly I'm busy with the farm most of the time, but I couldn't help but think maybe there's a idea there for us as well. There we go. That's it, folks. We are seated for um, year two. Take this back to the farm, I guess. Ooh, that is exciting, folks. We are... We've got all the money in the ground now. Is that a monster? No, it's Pepsi. Okay. I don't like Pepsi's other cans. I'm debating whether I want to pop up on another can. Yeah. I've only got four. Not hitting the monster. I'm saving my monster for later. Okay. I don't want to be up all night. Alright, we're going to pull this girl into the farm. <coughs> And don't worry, you joined us just at the very end of the live stream, I'm afraid. That's usual. Sorry, Farmer Klein just went live. Oh, did he? Oh, that's perfect on the, timing. On the yeah. cancer map. Yep, that is perfect So timing. normally, normally I don't push other streams on other streams, but guys, it's, I will push that one. Um, if you guys jump over, say hi to Farmer Klein, tell him Doughboy and Rubber Burner sent you. He is doing a stream on a new map that will be released shortly, and I will mimic what he said. Even if you have no intentions of playing the map, go to Giants when it's released and download it, because that's how Giants pays their moder their moderators or their mod authors is by the amount of downloads. And the mod author made this map for charity research or for cancer research. All the money that he makes, whether it be on live streams on the map, downloads on the map or um, donations is all being given to the charity research um, fund. So please guys, download it. Even if you don't plan on playing it, download it. Help these guys raise much, because I can tell you I don't know of a single person who's not been affected by cancer one way or the other. Um, I know personally I've lost several family members and I just lost a good friend yesterday. Uh, he was a fire captain, a guy I grew up with, and uh, a heck of an officer in the fire service. And he lost his battle to breast cancer. And yes, guys, males can get breast cancer, and he did, and he lost his life to it. So that's my little speech for today. Download the map when it's released. Please do it for me. 
Um, yeah, so go check out Fire McLean. I'm, I'm gonna say the same thing. You know, go go check them out and uh, check out the map and, and all that fun stuff. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be live streaming tomorrow. I think probably. If not here, we'll probably be doing something else. But we'll see how the cookie crumbles. Um, if you haven't checked out PCSG or Three Dudes Gaming, go check out those site. Check out the other moder or the other moderators, the other uh, YouTubers. I got listed in the description down below. Farm Klein's down there. You can check out his channel from there. Um, do, 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 I'm missing something. Oh, don't forget to join our Discord. Uh, free for everybody. Anybody's welcome to join. And thank you, Doughboy, for stopping by as always. Yep, yep. Um, GTX has also voted five stars, so they also received bonus payments. That that is a help. And um, yeah, go ahead, link his stream there, do uh, uh, DW. That's cool. And uh, until next time, y'all have a good night. See ya. Bye.